Hi guys, it's Sam for Digital Meat, and in this quick tip, I want to talk about um, saving out your project with the assets. Uh, in this scene, I've got a few cubes here with different materials on them, and in these materials, I've got several different channels active. I've got the color channel here, and um, this path actually leads to a location on an external hard drive. And uh, same with my uh, normal map and my displacement map. Now, when you initially uh, bring these textures in, Cinema 4D does pop up with a little dialogue saying, would you like to copy, um, make a copy of this texture file at the project location? Now, for me, I say no, because I don't want to make duplicate copies of them unnecessarily, and um, they'll always be read from my external hard drive. But what if I want to hand this project off to someone else? I need to collect all those textures um, and to go looking around my hard drive for them is a bit of a pain in the ass. So now there's actually a way that you can um, collect all your information that Cinema 4D provides. So just to let you know what's going on my scene, I've got several um, materials here. I've got this wood, like I said, with all paths to um, my external hard drive. And same with this tiles one as well and this crate one. Uh, the floor doesn't have a texture, it's just a colour. And I've got a HDRI image which is being read from my content browser in here. So it's actually part of a lib file provided with Cinema 4D. Um, so let's try and save this out with all our information. So if I go to File and go Save As, you can see this is where my file has been saved and there's no text folder and there's there's nothing there. But what we can do is actually go to File, go down and it says save project with assets. So I'll click on that and it will say, well, where do you want to save it? And it will ask for a file name. So if I um, give this the name test01 and then press save as a good old think. And there we go, it's done. So let's just minimize Cinema 4D for a moment. And you can see now we've got this folder on our desktop called test01. And if I open that up, you can see we've got test01 with the textures. So if I open this up, you can see that we've got the concrete blocks, the the wooden crate, the ceramic uh, roof tiles and the, and the wood, everything that we're gonna need. And we've also uh, got our HDR in here as well, which is absolutely great. So let's just open up the concrete blocks HDR quickly. Yeah, so it's managed to save this out. Let's just close this and bring back Cinema 4D. Now that's great because this HDR is actually, um, it's, you know, it says concrete blocks HDR. And if I go into here, in fact, a better way would just be open the uh, content browser. And it's this concrete blocks HDR. Now there may be some cases where you try and save out your assets and it may not work. It will work for all the all your materials here, but if you're reading a HDR from, say, a preset that you've got in your content browser, and it's been locked, um, you may have a scenario where you don't see your HDR in this folder. Oh, sorry, this folder. In my case, it's there, and as you can see by the file size, it's a HDR, it's a 32-bit image, and you know, it's 8,000 by 4,000. If you are in a situation where that doesn't get exported for whatever reason, I mean, in my experience, I've never had this issue, but I have heard of other people having this issue. There's several ways that you can go about doing this. So if you go to your material and go to your luminance, go into the actual texture field, and then you can click on edit image. It'll open up um, an image editing piece of software that you've got in your computer, in my case, Photoshop, and it will actually open up the image. And then from there, you can say file, save as, and then just save out the image. Another way to go about that would be to go to window, content browser, go to where your image is and open it up. So it opens up in the Cinema 4D picture viewer. Then you can just go to file, save as, and as you can see here, Still image, HDR, 32-bit channel. You can leave all that, and then you can just press OK, and then navigate to where you want to um, save this. And as you can see, we've got concrete blocks already there. So yeah, that's how you'd collect all your assets up. 
uh, in a nice easy way to hand off to someone else without having to go hunting for all your textures which may be in several locations maybe on different hard drives it just makes our uh, life all that easier okay that's it guys for my viewers on youtube don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell to get tutorial notifications you can also check me out at digitalmeat.uk where you can filter my tutorials by category you can also follow me on social media links in the description and the footer of my website if you'd like to support Digital Meat, this can be done via Patreon or the support page on the website. But if you'd like to support Digital Meat and get extra tutorial content, you can purchase the Prime membership in the store at digitalmeat.uk. For winding down, I have a second channel called Beef Doctor, where I do game streams. Link in the description and the footer of my website. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Bye!